All right, so let's focus on lessons. So we have a a, a, a state machine that manages the um, the new the, the the modules for a course, right? So we have to handle the lessons as well. So we have a, a two alternatives. One alternative. One alternative is that our our our, our state <laughs> contains not only the modules, but it contains also lessons, topics, everything. We have one huge state for the entire application. Yes, and that's fine. That's totally fine. That's one way to go. Um, uh, but you might find yourself that that state object that you're maintaining is growing and growing as your application becomes more and more complex. Right? Uh, that means that you know, if you have all the states in one sing, if you have all your state variables in one single state object, that means you're going to have to handle all the events for all those state variables. Right? So uh, at least you're going to have all the CRUD operations for modules. So four or five CRUD operations for modules, four or five uh, actions for lessons, and four or five for topics, and another four or five for widgets. So that is getting pretty big. Yes? Seems like that's really abstractable. Because yeah, so what we're going to do is that uh, uh, you can go that way, or what you can do is create a finite state machine for each one independently. Right. So let's do that. That's going to give us a chance to play around with combining uh, different, uh, uh, different reducers. Right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create a, a, a reducer specifically for lessons and another one specifically for topics, right? Not that you would do this, right? But it'll give us a chance to uh, practice to uh, work with multiple finite state machines. So let's do a lessons. Instead of doing this here, let's not do that. You could. That's a, that would be a legitimate way of going. Of going. Uh, but again, you would have to handle all the events here in the same state machine. So instead, what we'll do is that We'll create a separate in our in our reducers. We'll create another reducer here. We're going to say another file. We'll call it the lesson uh, reducer reducer. Okay, and our reducer is uh, going to be a function. So const lesson reducer. Uh, they all take a state. And they all take an action, and they're going to calculate. They're going to they're going to calculate and return something from here. So we'll do something like return. And for now, we re return lessons and something static, right? So lessons, it'll be just an array of a title. And this is uh, lesson one, and then underscore ID, um, uh, one, two, three, and we'll have a couple of these. Oops. Actually, what do I call them? Yeah. So maybe one, two, three. Copy, paste a couple of these. And this is two, three, four. There we go. Okay. And we're going to uh, export this, export um, default lesson reducer. All right. So here we have our reducer. Yes. So how do we combine this with what we already have? All right. So let's head over to our uh, course editor component where we have our single. You know, just one reducer. We want to combine it with this other reducer. Our application is using multiple reducers. Yes? And each is a state machine that controls a subsection of your page. All right? Okay? Uh, so let's do that. We can, we're going to load, import our lesson reducer from our lesson reducer. Yes? And we're going to combine these two reducers into a single reducer. So const uh, we'll call it the root reducer. And we're going to combine these two reducers as follows. We're going to call combine reducers. And reducers takes a map that allows you to uh, map these and, say, and, 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 and map each reducer to a namespace. So now each reducer is going to have its own namespace. So that in the state, you're going to, you're going to be able to say, hey, the state for which reducer? Oh, it's the state for the modules reducer, or it's the state for the lessons reducer. Right now, the state is going to be broken up into multiple substates. Make sense? And each state, each substate will be managed by a sub reducer. Make sense? Right? And the and, and you and, and 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 here is a chance for you to choose what namespaces you want to use. So we'll say that uh, modules will be our our uh, our the state for all the modules, right? And so we'll have that in here, we'll have the module reducer. Uh, and for the uh, lessons, will be the lessons reducers. 
Okay, so we've combined those those two into just one single reducer, and we can use this uh, we can use this root reducer to create this one store, right? Now we have done that, and we go back, everything breaks, right? Everything breaks because now there's two states or substates, right? Uh, now what what we, we used to have modules right at the root state, it was just state dot modules, yes. But now, uh, modules no longer is part of the root state, right? It's actually under a namespace, right? And that namespace is whatever I choose here, right? So, so we have to go back, and wherever we see modules, we're going to have to replace it. We're going to have to append in front of it the namespace, right? So let's do that. Um, so if we go, I believe it's just in the module list component. And the only place we do that, I believe, is in the right here in the state mapper so in here we're just gonna put modules in front of this as a namespace so modules modules right I guess it's not a good number name <laughs> uh, right so you give it a namespace and you can and then you prepend it if we do that um, we're back in business All right everything works uh, the um, oh you populated okay excellent <laughs> I have to find it in the, in the previous list okay all of the modules, all right. that had the course underneath. Okay. Genomsy slash courses didn't have the Right, doesn't have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so same thing for the same thing for the lessons. Same thing for the lessons, right? The lessons, uh, now, now let's do for the we did it for the modules, now let's do it for the lessons. Uh, 